All right, guys. Hey, this is Jason with Multiple Streams of Income. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can create an animated travel map, just like what I'm showing right up there in Camtasia 9. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys, welcome back. And you're going to need two images for this in order for this to work. You're going to need a car and you're going to need a map. And that's all you really need. And then you're going to set the rest of it up in Camtasia. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button up top there and make sure you hit the notification button because that's important. You get notified of my next videos that are coming out to help you build multiple streams of income. OK, so let's get right to it because there's quite a bit we need to do here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to get our map and we're going to go to mapquest.com like right here. And then you're going to go to need dive driving directions. You're going to type in here Raleigh or whatever location you are going from in RAL and I already have it set up. So got it right there. And we're going to go to Raleigh to Richmond. And that's what I'm doing right here. OK, in Richmond, Virginia. OK, now you're not going to need all this information out here. You want to get rid of this. There's an ad right here. There's another ad down here that popped in. OK, and if your screen doesn't fit everything in, you're going to want to increase it or decrease the screen just like that. Now I have a tool called out here Snagit. It's made by Camtasia. It is a paid tool. I'll have the link below the video, but let me tell you, it's a very, very powerful tool. And for any internet marketer, we'll need this tool to be able to do it. Now there is free ways of doing it. You can do it a lot of different ways, but in this case, this is a paid tool. And when you see this little, um, you know, I guess mark that talks it right here. But you're going to make sure you go high enough above Richmond and below enough Richmond so your car can actually start there and end above there. So I'm going to go as high as I possibly can. And I want to make sure it's wide as possibly as I can make it. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, now it's going to pop up on a screen here in a minute. Then I'm going to save it. And then we're going to go to and get our car next. Okay, here it comes. There it is. All right, so I'm going to do file, save as, and we're going to save this, um, and I'm going to say Richmond 5, okay, and then save. There we go. We now have the image that we need to create, um, to have the car drive up to. Okay, pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's close this down, minimize that, and we're going to hit the X there. Okay, now let's go get a car. And basically, think about this for any image you want to do. So I want to do an SUV uh, red red car, PNG. I've already typed it in right there. So it's coming up. Now you want to go to images. And here's the key to this. You don't want to just grab any image off of the web because they could be copyright protected. And if they are, you could get you know sued or fined uh, for stealing somebody's images. So but if you go up to settings, advanced, and you scroll to the bottom in here, it says filter. And then you can filter for for free for use for or modify okay and then hit advanced and hit search every one of these images were just as good as the other ones now here's a little key i put png at the end of this um my search why because i want a background that's clear transparent so i can see my map behind the car well not behind the car but behind the uh the image so i don't have for example i don't want that white no well, this is doesn't have white this one here may uh, some of these do like this one right here, even though it says PNG, this is a white JPEG image because I'd have to remove that image behind it. Now this one here is, is got the little squares on it. It could be used, but it's not really what I really want. But there's a, another one in here that I liked, which was right here. It's kind of an animated car. Somebody drew it. It's very cool. It's all got PNG around it. So you right click save as once you find the car you like i've got it saved already so i'm not going to resave it and then you're done okay there you go now you can do any image like that and it doesn't have to be for the car so going forward okay now we need to go into camtasia okay i got uh, this is my current recording that i'm doing i'm going to add to it right here so all we have to do is in camtasia i'm not going to go through how to set it all up but i'm going to say you need to load the image so you're going to go into media and you want to click on this right here and you want to put the plus button and you want to add an image so i have the image saved in maps and we're going to load map 5 and say open okay there it is right there add the timeline 
Now I want to spread that image out a little bit. So I want to give me some more working room. But that's the image. Now one point here is when you see the yellow in there, that locks the image to the background. If you see black, like any of this main, really, really black in here, if you saved that video and created it and rendered the video, that black would show up in your video. I don't want that. I want that image to fill the entire video screen. So that means I have to make it a little bit bigger to fit properly. And I'm going to have that car drive right up to Richmond, right like that. Okay, cool. So there's the image and the map. Okay, so now let's go bring our car in. So all you have to do again is hit file and bring that car in. And I have that car right here, right there. I'm not going to do it because I already have the car loaded. And so I'm going to right click, add the timeline. Boom, there's your car. Now, little trick here. If you, these are tracks, and if you put this in the map above the car, your car is not going to be shown because it's behind the map. So you want to make sure the car is in front of the map. All right. Now, I want to make that map, the car, the same length as the map because it needs to stay on the, on the video the full time. All right. So now I can move the car around and I can adjust the size of the car. Now there's little dots on all around the car. When you highlight, put your mouse over top of it. It's hard to see. I'll drill down into it, but you can adjust the size of the car. Now I'm going to start my car right here and I'm going to end that car somewhere around in that area. So I want to start this car driving up this road. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go to animations. We're going to go to custom and I'm going to drop the custom animation right there. The playhead goes in front on top of the animation right there. And I'm going to go in the middle of the car. And when your cursor changes right there, I want to kind of say, I want to go up that road and I want to drive like I'm going up that road. Okay. So now up there, I've turned the car. Now I'm going to need to create another animation. So I'll bring it back down. And then this time I want to drive this car right up to there. Okay. Boom. I'm done. Now I'm going to want to create another animation and bring it down. And I want to level the car out. Now, why do I want to level the car out? Because this car, I want it to go right on the Virginia border there. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to play. Okay. All the way up there. Boom. See how that sat right there? Cool, isn't it? So that means I can put something there if I want to. So now I'm going to, I'm going to go and create a transition here. I'm going to drop this into here and I want to put this right about right there. And I say stopped at restroom. You could say whatever you want, you know, but there's a restroom between Virginia and North Carolina border. We stopped there on our trip. So, and let's see what that looks like now. Go ahead and play. Vroom. Uh, driving up the road. And stop. And good. Well, guess what? That didn't come in fast enough. I forgot to bring that over. So let's just do a quick res do it again. And there it goes. Boo. That's really, that came in awful harsh. It just like pounded its way into that image. So we're going to make a transition there. And we're going to put a fade on that. Now, if you notice, when I took that and I dropped that and brought it down, it put it right there and put it at the end. Now, if I go over top of this playhead and hit play again, you can see it kind of just fades in. So that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Now, I don't think I need it to be that long. I'm going to stop the playhead and go a little bit shorter right there. Okay. Now, I want to turn that car back up and go back up the road again. Okay, so let's do again animation, custom, drop that in here. And at this point, I want to go find the, I have to click on the car and go find that little, my, I got a 4K video. So it sometimes doesn't do it justice. Okay, there we go. Now, that's done. I want to go drive up to that corner right to there. So we're going to do it again. And this time we're going to drive the car right to there. Good. And we're going to do another custom animation and turn the car a little bit higher. Uh, not much, but what's going to turn this car a little bit higher here. Come on. Where are you? There you go. Whoops. I don't want to go straight up, but that's it right there. 
and then I want to go for the rest of the way and drive up the hill. Okay, I'm going to make that a little bit longer. And this time I want to drive up to the hill right about right there. And now I want to level the car out again. And so then I go back up here. Come on, come on. There it is. Whoa, too much. Okay, that may have messed it up, but we'll see how that looks. Okay, right about right there. Okay, now I get to see Richmond and I get to see the car. Okay, let's see what happens here. See what this looks like. Okay, we'll start right there. We're at the halfway point. Up, up, go up a little bit more. And then the car drops back down. Not bad. I like that. That'll work. Now, I'll stop the playhead there. If that makes sense to you, then all you have to do is you can talk to this, add words to it, or you can go find music and add some, you know, not necessarily music. Well, you could add music or you can add like a car and then stop and then room and stop again, whatever you wanted to do there. But I want to kind of make this video kind of a shorter video. Uh, I didn't want to make it too long. I'm already close to 15 minutes. So let me just play it one more time and show you what it looks like. And then we will move on. Good. I like it. It looks really cool. Good, good. Up stop and we're done now you can always adjust these to go slower or faster whatever you want for the automation to make it go faster or slower and so if you want to make this image a little slower right here you just drag things back and that that way there that your picture depending on how long you want that transition to be and how fast you want that. But that's the automation within Camtasia 9. It's very, very powerful. And that's how we do it for most movies and all that stuff is you just go through and create your automation and boom, you're done. That's how you create a map within Camtasia and you can put it into your videos anytime you want. Hopefully that helped. If it did, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button uh, so that you can get my other educational videos just like that so you can create multiple streams of income. If you have any questions, please let me, let me know below by commenting on my video. Have a great day, and I look forward to working with you. Have a great day. Bye, guys.